What happens if your solar panels are struck by lightning? Could it damage your solar system or worse yet, your home or your business? After watching this video, you'll clearly understand the lightning risks associated with solar and how those risks can be mitigated. So Rick, tell us what happens if your solar system gets struck by lightning? Boom! Yeah. <laughs> um, anything, anything that's a direct uh, hit by lightning is going to get severely damaged. There's really nothing, nothing to prevent damage. Um, so what I, I guess I'll say is, you know, we have close to 2,000 systems installed. Um, since I'm involved in maintenance, I'm aware of maybe less than 10 that have actually had some form of lightning damage. Uh, and I can say I've, I've probably never seen any direct lightning strikes on a photovoltaic system, okay. or at least one of ours. I've seen damage from surges from lightning, sure. but not direct lightning damage. So should you have a lightning rod on your roof when you're installing panels? I would actually not recommend it. Um, lightning rods, uh, if installed correctly, are good. They actually will serve to help divert lightning away from the structure. You'll see lightning arresters or lightning rods on many structures. Um, but there, the evidence isn't there to say, let's make that part of a standard a solar installation, Warren. So what's, Rick, the benefit of properly grounding your solar array? Oh, grounding is the most important thing that any competent installer should do. Uh, when, you, when you ground your solar array, you're actually connecting the metal frame of the of the panels, the the metal uh, rails that support the panels, you're actually bonding that to your your uh, resident or your household electrical system. It's called yeah. the equipment grounding conductor. That conductor is actually bonded to the ground rod. So you're you're tying all of that together electrically, so that if there is a surge from lightning, and what lightning does is when it strikes nearby. It creates a magnetically induced surge of electricity or current, and by having all of your, your frames and your components bonded together mechanically and electrically, it prevents that surge current from wanting to flow from one device to the next. So proper bonding and grounding is absolutely essential for any good solar uh, array to minimize lightning damage. Can I install a solar arrestor that will eliminate the risk of lightning, and at what cost? No one can install something that's going to be completely guaranteed. You know, if you look closely at like NASA and the space shuttle, you'll see lightning rods uh, on buildings. You'll see lightning rods on very commonly on buildings. Um, they are, if they're designed and installed correctly, they are good for reducing your risk from lightning. Um, the best protection from lightning, actually, your solar inverters mm -hmm. have built-in surge protection um, in the in the circuitry. Um, there is external, or there are external devices you can buy to reduce your risk from surges. Uh, that's an extra cost, and we haven't seen a huge need for it, to be honest with you. So it seems to me, from talking to you, Rick, the most important things are to make sure that you use a reputable installer who knows when they're installing the system to ground it and bond it correctly. Amen uh, to that, yes. Yeah, and then uh, at, at that point, it doesn't really seem to make a whole lot of sense to put up lightning rods or arresters or does it? I agree. I would not, I would not recommend that. If you have a history of, I'll say, you know, appliances or other things being damaged from lightning surges, then I, I might contact a reputable electrical contractor or Paradise uh, to install a high quality surge protector on your home electrical service. And that's probably the extent I would nice. take it. So should somebody be concerned that their solar panels would attract lightning? Not necessarily, Warren. I would call that maybe like an urban legend or a myth. Yeah. I could see someone saying, oh, that kind of makes sense. If your solar panels, however, if they're bonded, electrically bonded, which means there's a wire properly attached to the frames and to the uh, racking system, and that's attached to the equipment grounding system of the residence, uh, what you're doing is you're bonding all that together so that current can't flow from uh, what would be like induced voltage from a nearby lightning strike. Right. So, but but solar panels don't necessarily attract lightning. Um, lightning is typically attracted to the tallest feature in the in the surrounding area, which could be trees. It could be a tall building. Um, it could be a ground mount racking in a system in a very flat area. Uh, but oftentimes those really flat areas don't attract a lot of lightning. So. 
Um, again, I, I wouldn't necessarily, the, 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 the basic answer is no. Okay. Panels don't attract lightning, but they're like any other structure. Thanks, Rick, for answering a really important question. Uh, and we appreciate you sticking with us. If you've learned something new today, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more solar insights.